King Charles III ascended to the British throne after his mother's death on September 8, 2022. On May 6, 2023, the coronation of King Charles III with his wife, Camilla, took place at Westminster Abbey. In the weeks and months leading up to his coronation, King Charles was already preparing for his inauguration. On March 29, 2023, Charles III and Camilla, the Queen Consort, made an official visit to Germany. The royal couple are pictured here at the welcoming ceremony with German President Frank Walter Steinmeier and his wife Elke Budenbender in front of the world-famous Brandenburg Gate. Queen Elizabeth's portrait has appeared on the stamps, coins, and banknotes for over 70 years. But on April 4th, new stamps were unveiled to the world. They show King Charles in profile to the left and, let's not forget, not wearing a crown. On 6th of May, following the coronation ceremony, King Charles III appeared with Queen Camilla on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. They greeted the thousands of people gathered in London for the very special occasion. The 2023 Trooping the Color took place on 17th of June, the first under King Charles III's reign and on his first official birthday. The king is seen on horseback wearing his Welsh Guard uniform. Princes William and Edward ride to Buckingham Palace on horseback alongside him. Later that month on 24 June, King Charles attended Ascot Racecourse for the first time as king. Ascot Racecourse is the most famous racecourse in England, hosting thoroughbred horse racing thanks to the close, long-standing links with the royal family. It is one of the most prestigious racecourses in the world. On July 5th, King Charles headed north to Scotland to attend the official Thanksgiving and consecration ceremony at St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh. During the ceremony, the king received the scepter and crown of Scotland. Also present at the ceremony were William, Prince of Wales, also known as the Duke of Rothesay, and his wife Catherine, Princess of Wales and Duchess of Rothesay. Five days later, King Charles III hosted U.S. President Joe Biden at Windsor Castle. They are pictured here, where we see Biden inspecting the Guard of Honor. King Charles III's new passport was unveiled on July 18th. This is the first time a passport has been marked His Majesty in 70 years. That's why the only person who doesn't need a passport is the king himself. By convention, the monarch is not required to carry their passport with them when traveling, as their passport is issued in the name of the reigning sovereign. On the first anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's death on 8 September 2023, King Charles III wrote a message. It reads, on the first anniversary of Her Late Majesty's death and my accession, we remember with great affection her long life, her devoted service, and all that she meant to so many of us. I am also deeply grateful for the love and support that has been shown to my wife and me during this year, as we do all we can to be of service to you all. The King and Queen paid private tribute to the tragic anniversary by traveling to Scotland to attend a memorial service at Craithy, near Balmoral Castle in Aberdeenshire. The royal couple are seen here meeting staff and members of the public. On September 20th, Charles III finally crossed the channel to France. This was his first visit as king, six months after riots and strikes forced him to postpone his first attempt at an official visit. King Charles and Camilla, alongside Emmanuel Macron and Brigitte Macron, stand in front of the Élysée Palace on September 21st, 2023. During his visit, King Charles III, who speaks fluent French, addressed senators and members of the National Assembly at the Senate in Paris. This was the first member of the British royal family had spoken in the Senate. The following month, the king traveled to Kenya for his first official trip to Africa since taking office. On October 31st, the British monarch gave a speech at an official banquet hosted by Kenyan President William Ruto in Nairobi. Faced with widespread pressure, he was forced to acknowledge British colonial actions. He agreed to acknowledge the heinous and unjustifiable acts of violence committed during colonial rule, but without offering an apology. King Charles III is seen here smiling and laughing alongside cheerful female students during his visit to Eastland's library. He was accompanied to Nairobi, Kenya by Queen Camilla. On November 3, 2023, dancing locals form an ad hoc honor guard for King Charles III and Queen Camilla during their visit to Fort Jesus. Fort Jesus, located in Mombasa, Kenya, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
On November 7, 2023, King Charles presided over his first state opening of Parliament. This is an old British traditional and annual ceremony, but the crowd was made up of an anti-monarchist group called Republic. They protested with placards that read, Not My King. The Republic group advocates replacing the British monarch with a non-politicized head of state who would be elected and would only take sides at ceremonies or other constitutional events. According to the polling institute Statista, the monarchy remained most popular among people aged 65 and over, with 80% in favor of its continuation. Younger people are increasingly opposed to the monarchy, with 40% of 18 to 24 year olds preferring that the head of state be chosen by the ballot box. During the state opening of parliament at the British parliament in London, the speech the king gave was actually written by the government. It outlined the government's priorities for the coming year. King Charles III was admitted to the London Clinic on January 26 for what was supposed to be routine treatment for an enlarged prostate. He was released on January 29th, joined by his wife. But rumors ran wild about the real reason for his hospitalization. Then on February 5th, Buckingham Palace announced that the king had cancer. During the recent benign operation for an enlarged prostate, another problem was noticed, the message said. Further investigations have revealed a form of cancer. The announcement made headlines around the world and left the country in shock. Less than seven weeks later, the Princess of Wales announced that she was undergoing preventive chemotherapy for cancer. A constitutional crisis ensued. King Charles III made his first notable public appearance since being diagnosed with cancer at Easter Mass at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle on 31st March 2024. In April, the general public was given a preview of the new $5 and $10 banknotes featuring Charles III's portrait. They will go into circulation on a fair of June. King Charles III made his first official appearance since being diagnosed with cancer on 30th of April visiting the UCH Macmillan Cancer Center with Queen Camilla to raise awareness of the importance of early diagnosis. He also wanted to showcase the research innovations being carried out at the hospital, which are supported by the Center for Cancer Research UK. Most commentators on The Crown agree that Prince Harry's criticism of the royal family has failed to dent the king. King Charles III remains praised for his minimalist approach. The scandal surrounding Prince Harry's fall from grace has not affected the king either. The percentage of Britons who said King Charles was doing a good job jumped to 63% following the queen's death. The poll was conducted by YouGov, a company that conducts online polls. 12 months later, more recent polls by YouGov and other pollsters show that his popularity has barely dropped to 60%. Only 32% of the population have a negative opinion of him.